They're the workhorse of the agricultural world, doing double duty pollinating crops and making honey. Far less known is how susceptible bees are to disease. Last winter, 45% of the colonies in Canada were lost. The main culprits, varroa mites and a bacterial disease called foul brood. Since the dawn of humans keeping bees, we've had foul brood, basically. Foul brood attacks and kills larvae as they hatch. The bacteria spores can also lay dormant for decades, making it difficult to catch. And the only sure way to get rid of it is to burn the entire colony, which can have disastrous consequences. If those colonies have to be destroyed at the wrong time, it can have uh, the, the it has a very large multiplier effect on the total agricultural output of that uh, area. Breeding disease resistant bees and testing alternative treatments is constantly on the mind of Leonard Foster and his team at the University of British Columbia. The problem with using antibiotics to treat foul brood, he says, is twofold. Bees are becoming immune and antibiotics leave a residue in honey, which is why the industry is buzzing about the first vaccine developed for honeybees being approved for use in the U.S. We need to have solutions that are non-chemical and that are not dangerous for the environment, that are, that are tested, that are safe, that are manufactured to the highest level of purity, all of those things. And that was our mission. The approval process in Canada, she says, will begin soon and could end up on the desk of agri-food research scientist Steve Pernal in Alberta. But Pernell is also working on a treatment for an even bigger pest, the Varroa mite, a made-in-Canada solution that has already seen positive results in the field. We constantly have to find alternatives. So this would be a new alternative, but it would be a very different one chemically than what's currently out there. So, so uh, you know, I think there's lots of potential for um, this to be adopted by the beekeeping industry. It's potentially a double dose of good news for Canada's 800,000 bee colonies. And keeping them healthy keeps us fed. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.